Hello everyone, welcome back to Relevant Picture Books Review. I am Sunika here with another picture book review for you. Today's book is called Almost Nothing Yet Everything. It's written by Hiroshi Osada and illustrated by Ryoji Ari. And Hiroshi Osada was a poet, so this is would be considered a poetry book. It's a beautiful story about a child and an, a parent on a boat in a river having a conversation about the water that surrounds them. And so it's a poem about all the different ways water is around us, how it benefits us, all the things we can do with water, all the different ways of water. And the illustrations in this book by Ryoji are just so captivating so lush, so beautiful. It is just an amazing artwork. It's like going into a gallery and just looking after beautiful paintings after beautiful paintings of water. You can see mountains in the water in his paintings. And this book has won a culture award. This is the second collaboration between Hiyoshi and Ryoji. They have another book called Every Color of Light that has also won an award. This book is translated from Japanese by David Boyd. He's translated both uh, books, both the color, Every Color of Light and Almost Nothing Yet Everything has both been translated from Japanese to English by David Boyd. Beautifully written poems in here about water. Look at some of the pictures I'm showing you here. Um, this book is so captivating. It's so inspiring as well. This book will definitely inspire you and your children to pull out their pastels, their crayons, and just pick color and draw some beautiful pictures on their own using this book as inspiration for your creative art making it op as open-ended as you possibly can make it um also you could also do a guided imagery art activity to this i would suggest you put on some rushing water in the background have it playing over the speakers and giving the children various uh, textures and shades of paper and pastel crayons, oil pastels, and just having them draw and color anything that comes to their mind while listening to the waters rushing and, and soothing and playing in the background. This would be a great open-ended art activity for your little ones to do. This is a great picture book. And it it it's a it has a very funny ending. I don't want to give it away, but when you do read this book, you are going to laugh out loud. So in the end, it it there's a little joke there about how this poem came about in the first place. What inspired Hiroshi to write this poem in the first place? It was all based on a little question by a child, and and it is just hilarious. So I really recommend this book. Almost Nothing Yet Everything, a beautiful poem about water. And we all know how important water is to us, to earth, right? And all the different things that we can do and use water for. And also a song, there's a song called um, The Rain Is Falling Down. That would be a great matchup for this. If you ever read this book in your circle time and you're looking for a matching water song, The Rain Is Falling Down is a good song to pair with this book. And I already mentioned the artworks that you could do with this book as well. So if you're doing a theme on water, if you're doing a theme on a summer theme about waterfalls, going to the beach, um, mountains and trees. There's great forestry images in here as well. Space theme, because as you can see, there's a, a page here that's dedicated to Earth and space and stars. It is just a great book overall. So check, yeah, check this out. Pick it up the next time you're in the library. And look for the other ones as well that are also written by Hiroshi Osada. Enjoy. Please like, share, and subscribe. Keep reading. See you next time.